Well, hello, my name is Steve McPherson, and you're here at the New Song Cafe at worshiptogether.com. Today, I'm catching up with Marty Sampson and Matt Crockett to talk about their song, Open Heaven, River Wild, from the new Hillsong Worship album. Enjoy. Well, guys, it's good to have you with us today. Thanks for being here. Thank you. It's good to be here. So today we're talking about the song Open Heaven, which is a beautiful song. So I'd love to hear how this song came about between the two of you and what the story was. What's the, what's the scope on this what song? What is the story, mate? Well, <laughs> what is the story? Um, I don't know. Me and Martz were kind of, obviously we're writing for um, Hillsong Conference, which we knew we were going to be doing an album at the time. But more importantly, we just wanted to write for our church. And so we were kind of writing together at the time, which um, which is cool because we haven't really written for a long time, like a really long time. So we, um, it felt great though. We spent like a long like long couple of three weeks. I don't know if they call that a long couple of three weeks, but we spent some time together. It was pretty long. Was it was long. By the end of three weeks, I was like, yeah, I need a break. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we were riding together and we had some other ideas and I think we were just at my house um, and Mart's actually just went to do something else at the time. And I had an idea from the night before and he walks back in and I kind of showed him this idea. I was like, what do you think about this? And Mart's in his genius way of doing things. was like, that's awesome. What if it went like this and flipped everything on its head? And um, that kind of ended up being the melody chorus. And he started seeing the living water part, which is in the bridge. And just from that moment, we're like, okay, there's something cool about this song. So we just started spending a lot of time on it, um, trying to kind of bring it forward as an idea. And um, talking to Cass, she was like, it'd be great to have a song about the Holy Spirit, um, which I know we've tried to do before, but we wanted to do it in a way where it wasn't weird to sing about the Holy Spirit, because um, mm. I know some people have issues with that. So uh, I was just reading Acts 2, 17, which says, um, where is it? In the last days, in the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. And it just goes on to talk about other things. Um, and it really inspired me to kind of dig deeper into that thought about what that looks like as for not just back then, but for now. Mm. Um, and so we just, as I said before, spent a lot of time working our way through it and kind of bring these ideas to life through the song. So. It's got a killer bridge. I mean, everybody just loves this bridge. Tell us a little bit about the journey of the, the lyrics in the bridge there. Was there a journey? Um, I, can't, I, mean, I can't remember exactly where the first part of the bridge came in, but yeah. I remember like you originally had that living water melody that kind of came out of nowhere, which is cool. Yeah, it was, it, I think it just kind of happened as a result of us, because we know each other really well, as a result of us just singing and singing and just seeing what ideas kind of landed mm -hmm. and... It, I feel like it just all kind of fell out. So you were probably singing something and I started singing something. And I re definitely remember he was singing the, the down um, part of the bridge and then he just like just took it up the octave as after I maybe sung something and I was like, oh, that's mm. that's totally where it needs to mm. go. And um, yeah. I think like as well with Living Water, we had, Marty was like, I, I guess he had this idea from something else he wanted to put into a song, Immerse Me in Your Mercy which is like a really cool thought. And then I was like, well, what if you did, what if we had, because the Holy Spirit living water, and then you got um, the idea of fire and the Holy Spirit as well. And so we wanted to put both those ideas in the song without having too many ideas going at the same time. But um, we've got, oh, Holy Spirit, burn like a fire, all consuming, consume me. Um, and then later on in the bridge, it starts talking about immerse me in your mercy. And I thought that was cool, those two ideas flicking on each other. And, um, yeah, it's very know, clever, really now, good, yeah. So. And it does, I don't know if you find it, but when you're seeing it, it makes you think about those concepts, mm. it, being immersed and consumed by fire and by the Holy Spirit, yeah, and, and then being immersed in mercy. It makes you think about yeah. it. Yeah, and the language that was being talked about with some of our leaders at the time was um, an open heaven, even for like maybe the last two or three years, mm. sitting under an open heaven. And I think that was when the song really started taking shape. What does that look like to sit mm. under an open heaven? Mm. Um, and that's God's presence um, just pouring out upon us, which it constantly is. So. I think the, the other thing that was cool about this song is that we were like in the moment as we were writing, we were really open to God in that moment. Mm. And not like you're not with other songs, but I just remember being really like wanting God to do something, you know, like whether whether we, we wrote a great song or not, we weren't trying to write a great song. We were just trying to... I guess just experience God in that yeah. moment. Mm. He knew we were trying to write a song. We knew we were trying to write a song. But in that, we were like, God, just speak to us. Like, do something. Have your way. And I really do feel like there was like God breathed on that song. I know the first time we brought it to um, a creative night, like it just, it, you know, even in the creative team, it just it just connected in a way mm. that um, I guess we're talking about with the Holy Spirit. Just people were seeking the Holy Spirit, seeking 
you know, God's presence. And it was, it was just a really powerful moment. Mm. So Beautiful. Well, why don't we hear you guys do the song? That'd be great. Signs and wonders from Nice job, guys. Let's talk about uh, what you're doing, Marts. There, what key are you in? Uh, that's a great question, Maka. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> song, song was in C. I don't yeah. know. It was in I'm in the so, key of B, but we recorded in C. C. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you're capoed on four. Mm -hmm. So talk us. You got the G shapes there. Yeah. There's there's two chord the progressions in the song. The mm -hmm. first is just one chord progression that just it basically just goes through the whole song until you get to the bridge and then the chords change. So it's just that. The four. Ah, uh, sorry, double time. So four. That's all it changes, five, right? Just the yeah, six. One over three, or three over one. Um, and then, yeah, you just play that over and over again until you get to the the bridge, which is um the four. Five. I like this kind of shape, the C shape, moving it up to yeah, the right. to the um to the, I guess moving up two frets to the to the D shape. Um. Yeah, and then the one over three again, and then back to the four. So pretty simple chord-wise. We try to make this as simple as possible. Great <laughs> so, job. Because I can't remember too many chords, so yeah. I'm like, if I do well, less actually, chords. Actually, um, when we're writing, <laughs> Mart's had this sound on a keyboard, which actually, I don't, I don't know what it was. It's probably a really standard sound, but it was just so amazing. Like, this has to be the sound for the thing. I don't know if it was, but yeah. it kind of inspired a lot of the yeah, very good. thing. So. It was probably a 20-year-old keyboard, <laughs> and it had one amazing sound, and all the rest were like yeah. 20 years People old. People playing there, it's, it's not the right sound. It's got to be this one. This yeah, yeah, crappy yeah. Sound. <laughs> And uh, talk to us about when you, I mean, you both worship leaders, this song, um, I mean, you, you can do it in so many different ways. You can keep it tender right mm. throughout it, or you could build it and it could climax towards the end there, especially going into the living water. Yeah. What's, what sort of thoughts go through your mind when you're leading this song? Um, I'll, I'll like talk about the fact that it's like, there's a guy and girl singing. It's kind of like a duet, yeah, but yeah. I think that just happened naturally because some songs like you run the idea through, like maybe you could do that, but this one just felt really natural to do that. Mm. Um, I don't remember what inspired it. I think it just kind of happened. 
But we don't yeah. do that every time, do we? we well, we do every, song. I don't know. Every time I've been on, we have. But I'm sure, like, it doesn't really matter. Either way, you can do it with a girl or a guy, guy all the way through. Yeah. So. yeah, and the other thing is, if you know, if you were doing it for the first time, I would, I would maybe draw out a scripture like what you just said, yeah. and just talk about the Holy Spirit and and you know that God's God's desire to to um impart himself yeah. at this point in time you know that that's the beauty of what what we believe is that god is still active and still doing something yeah, and yeah. just drawing attention to the holy spirit from the scripture before then bringing the song i would i would probably do bring that. some context yeah, yeah. yeah. good well done well said well guys it's a great song beautiful song so thanks for being with us today and doing this song for us. Thanks, thanks.